Hi, my name's Peter, and today I'm going to talk about uh, playing the Orange Blues. So, uh, for those who don't know the Orange Blues, I'm first going to explain what the Orange Blues is. Actually, I played for you. Actually, it's um, <laughs> it's part of my artistic work where a blues is not blue; it is orange. Imagine the valleys are in Arizona. <laughs> So this is um, the orange blues or this type of guitar playing. Um, you can um, compare it a little bit with that movie Paris, Texas, by uh, where the music is played by Ray Cooter. But actually, he played it with the bottleneck. But in this case, we're not playing bottleneck. But we're checking out some ideas. Um, playing blues or this kind of open space blues with different um, types of expression, meaning scales, meaning sounds, and some ideas. Um, first, we're going to talk about the sound, because this is the easiest. Um, to get the maximum expression on this type of blues, work um, with a medium gain level, of a of any kind of tube amp, and the trick is you can work work with the volume. Now you can have the volume. You can have you have a vo volume pedal, or you can um, you can just um, select the volume on your guitar. Also, don't put it on the maximum level on the guitar, and attack the strings very easy. Then you nearly have a clean sound. When you attack harder, you hear slightly it skips into distortion. And when you go maximum volume and you attack hard, you have a distorted guitar. So you have a, a pretty much um, wide, um, how do you say, section where you can work with the different distortion levels and you can really have a lot of expression only with the sound and work on dynamics. Or if you have a Les Paul or, or any kind of a Les Paul type guitar, you can select the pickups with the switch here and then you put the one pickup on maximum level and the other pickup maybe on f maybe on five or six and then <laughs> So this sounds nearly clean, and then when when you have when you want to have maximum volume, you just switch, and then, <laughs> then you distort the guitar. This is the one main trick which you can use here to get this really wide uh, selection of expression levels. The other thing which I use is the wah as well. So when I when I start with them, um, actually I prefer this pickup here and work a little bit with the volume. I also like to work with the Wava here to give even an extra, <laughs> give the extra mile to the expression. And also he work with the Wava on the volume to get this 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 tension up and down really work with the tension of the tone and now we go maximum and see when i add the chord I come in with the guava and give this extra expression kick. Also, can I add some vibrato? I like this. <laughs> so
So, this is, um, like let's say, the FX part of the sound part of the whole thing. Work with distortion levels, work with um, levels of attacking, really practice to attack the strings soft, medium, hard, and see how the sound develops on the uh, related to the to the press you put on the strings when you attack them. And it also makes a difference if you play with finger picking or you play with a pick. Now I play with finger picking, then you have a, a softer sound. Or when you play with the pick, which uh, in this case I would not do because you see here the sound is already different, it's more hard. But also here you can um, really make experiments with attacking soft and very hard. It's up to you, but on this blues I recommend finger picking. Yo, so now um, let's check out um, what I was playing um, <laughs> from the ideas behind it, the scales behind it. Um, then you can really go into this orange blues. Now we're checking out what was being played. Um, first we need to understand actually what we are playing um, in general. It's a uh, tune in E, so um, I use the chords E, A, as a part of a blues, and the end part I use the chord D5, A, and back to E. So what what does that mean? Um, we 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 um, divide the whole thing in two parts or even three parts. Um, to, to work out the different types of uh, scales or ideas we can play. So when we just check out E and A, this could be a song in E major, where we play the normal E major scale, or if we, if we, we see it as a blues, then of course we play E mixolydian. In this case I play E mixolydian because it's a blues to give this character of E mixolydian. But what does that mean? How we play E mixolydian? I mean I can show this scale here. Um, that's cool to know, but um, I normally play, um, especially the mixolydian mode, I mean, it's cool to know, but the main trick is when you learn the scale, learn the intervals. So when you learn the, the scale, so in E this is the, the root, this is the, the, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, uh, in, in, in the case of mixolydian is flat seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven and one. Now the trick is when you learn a scale in intervals, uh, you can switch between scales. So, knowing this, um, you know that the normal E major um, scale has an other uh, interval level. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven instead of flat seven. So you easily can switch between the two scales just by knowing the difference. Maybe you know some other patterns or other ways. Um, I don't know. Um, we will stay now here in, the, in, the, in this position here. And now comes a trick. Um, on the A, we're gonna play Lydian scale. Why Lydian? The trick is pretty easy. Because when, when we analyze this as a, a tune in E major, the A is the fourth, the fourth um, chord, and on the fourth chord we play Lydian. So you you can take the E major scale and start here on the A, and now you get out Lydian when you start from here. So we have one, two, three. 
And Lydian, the difference between um, the normal major scale and Lydian is this one note. So one, two, three, flat four, and a flat four sharp four, and five. And that's really the trick. I mean, when I when I think about Lydian, I play when I play here the three. This is the, the, the um, triad of the A A major chord. So I have played three sharp four five and so I, I just need to know this one here this is the, the sharp four and that's really the, the the trick that you can switch between scales so this was the theory now behind it now in practical use i show the first lick which i'm playing it was this beginning here I really love this one here. So um, this is a typical mix of Lydian and long meter run. So I, I I make play here the root note two three five six one two slide up in three and you re really can make it fluent. Very nice. And it already gives the character of the E chord. And then I finish from the third. And then I switch direct here into the E chord. See? Very cool. And then to give. Till now, it's not really defined um, if it's a major scale or. or um, uh, mixolydian scale because we never played the seventh or the flat seven. But now, here on the five, six, half tone bending on flat seven, now we have mixolydian. And then we go back down. I really love this flick. And when you really pay attention to the dynamics try to give this a dynamic curve which starts low and goes up and then back down so what I what I did I came here here to this the chord here E 5 6 bending on flat 7 6 5 slide down 4 on Three, and there I made the drop to voicing here, here with the, the third, the fifth, and the root. Gives it very wide sound. You can first make the whole thing and then make only half of this, so like I did now. So we start. Second time only half of it. Uh, very nice trick here. You attack the note with the slide, so we slide down, give it a little extra kick, and then the note comes. This is another type of expression, very cool one by the way. Now we switch to A, and as I said before, we, we play A Ludian, so. First open A string, hit a three, sharp four, five, back to E. <coughs> Sorry. And here um, this um, E sus. Here with the two in the second fret and in the fourth fret. So we go. up the whole phrase here with D5 and now this part this is the rock part so 
So now we, we change the scale again. Now we switch to pentatonics, E minor pentatonics. <laughs> Now while we play pentatonic, like in this case I play this I play this one here. I really love this one with the open string. I make this very um, fast run with the hammer on run with the open string. See? this one here. I use that one often. And now we switch back to blues. And this um, switching between the modes makes the color and the taste of this orange blues or any kind of blues, um, which is a little bit more sophisticated, where you mix up the modes and the scales. And this is really cool. So I play the whole thing then you see again what's happening. So we start here, normal with E mix solution. You can keep your time. The special sliding technique switch now to A. comes the rock part. And these were the flagellates here in the 12th. <laughs> yeah, this is the whole thing. It's very nice and the dynamics and the playing technique is very important that you really have a feeling. Also, work out these little phrases. There's a special hammer on pull off technique and switch directly. And here, this is this was the legato. And now, these notes without attacking the strings. And this gives a special dynamic level which really creates this very cool and wonderful mood which we want on this type of blues. Yeah, and that's basically what's happening in this kind of Arizona or orange blues um, with this very open timing and this rubato timing. Just keep your timing. You really can keep it open and really enjoy every note you're playing. And if you work with wah wah, you can work on each note. See, like what I did now, I I speeded up the vibrator and that added the wah wah, and then ended up. And then abrupt ended it. You can also always think about this, um, these waves of dynamics or expression. Always try to create waves. As I said, um, the main thing on this type of blues or this type of playing is that getting a feeling for spaces. This is called rubato playing. That you feel when it's time to accelerate, when it's time to slow down, when it's time to just sit on one note and just listen to it. 
just listen and enjoy how it sounds and then try to also improvise with these elements which I showed. And listen to yourself and try to really get in this feeling and this mood. And that's uh, actually, I, I work a lot with colors. And the, as I said in the beginning, for me, this is the color orange. And uh, when I improvise, <laughs> actually, I um, I try to, Im I, I get to in this color and just get the mood of this color out. You can try to, you can try to imagine the color if you're already uh, that good that you can play without uh, looking on the fretboard. <laughs> And that gives us what then you start to feel the exactly the time which is needed um, to get the right mood out of this because there's no rule actually ex actually really is no rule and this is really the hardest way of playing when you have no timing ruling because when you count you know okay I have to play on the two this note then it's clear but here there's no rule when you have to play it it's up to you and your way of imagining the color or the mood of the song and but it's also a lot of fun <laughs> yeah so that was it this the monthly lesson um, next month I don't know if you want to have something in specific you can mail me or you can write it on um, Facebook or YouTube that I know and if you love it uh, it's also okay to make a donation because this is um, a lot of work doing this stuff. And I'm just checking out how it works now for one year and see what happens. And if it pays off, it's cool. I mean, um, I like to do this work, but of course, since I'm professional, um, somehow it has to pay off for me because otherwise I cannot do this anymore. Even if I love, I really enjoy this and um, I can be very creative here. <laughs> Yo, enjoy it and uh, we see us next month with the next lesson of the month. In the middle of the month is the Talk to My Guitar series. I don't know what I'm doing then. It comes up to me the day I record it. See ya.